What is going on, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of the Dundalk Trap Podcast here with Gio and Manti. Um, today we'll be giving out our bets for Saturday's playoff rounds and uh, and Sundays, and then also some uh, other plays that Gio or Ray has for Saturday. I have all NFL, but they, I think, have some other stuff. But before we start, how you guys doing? Doing good. Wonderful. Excited for these NFL games. It's going to be a good weekend. Yeah, average. Yep, great. Um, looking forward to all the basketball and you know the one good football game on tomorrow. But I don't know. Seahawks might put up a good fight. Yeah. Being a team three times hard, right? Yeah. Yeah. Don't you think? Very hard. Especially uh, when we have a weatherman now on the podcast. <laughs> Like you said, the weather's going to be shitty, so we'll see well, what happens. Let me know because I know you that didn't cross your mind one bit when you were uh, picking whatever the fuck you're going to do. I look at the end good. of the day. I think you're going to actually Brock Purdy over 300 yards passing. No, I wasn't. Bigger. But at the end of the day, I probably would still make more profit off my NFL bets this weekend than you will. So why you say that? Uh, because it's happened in the past. So not expecting that the changes yeah. begin. Manti. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> who wants to go first? Do you want me to? Gio. Oh, Gio. All right, I'll go first. Gio, you can go second. And right. Merge, uh, uh, yeah. Merge, Manti, you go third. Um, all my bets are uh, are for the NFL. So I got four bets. Christian McCaffrey over 113 and a half rushing slash receiving yards. Keenan Allen over 81 and a half receiving yards. Travis Etienne over 78 and a half rushing yards and Chargers minus one and a half. Uh, McCaffrey over 113 and a half rushing slash receiving. Uh, it's supposed to be a rainy game. It's like a 53% chance of precipitation. Um, tough playoff debut for Purdy. I think he'll dump the ball down a little bit to McCaffrey and they'll try to build his confidence a little bit when they're not straight up handing him, handing the ball off to him. He's went over this in four of his last six and, uh, they were kind of careful with McCaffrey for a good portion of the season. I think they're kind of saving him for the playoffs, which we'll see them unleash him on Saturday. My next bet, uh, Keenan Allen over 81 and a half receiving yards. The Jaguars passing defense sucks. Allen's gone over this in five of his last six, and Mike Williams is out. I think the Chargers get him heavily involved, and he has a big day. For the ETN rushing yards, he's went over this in three of the last four, and the Chargers are really bad against the run. Lawrence didn't look too good throwing the ball in the Jaguars' last game. And I think they'll try to let ETN kind of carry them to a win in this one. I don't think they win, but I think they rely on their rushing attack more in the passing game. And then my last bet, Chargers, minus one and a half. This is a revenge game for Los Angeles. I think their offense is better, even though they're going to be without Mike Williams. I think their passing game is better. Uh, Chargers have been good against the pass. They're like fifth or sixth. They allow like the fifth or sixth least amount of passing yards in the NFL, while the Jaguars allow like the fourth most. So I think the better – Passing defense shows up and Chargers win this one by a late field goal. It'll be a close one, but I think they cover the one and a half. So those are my four plays. All right. Uh, my three plays for Saturday are George Kittle over three and a half receptions, Kraken against the Blackhawks minus one and a half, and the Capitals in the Flyers game over six. Start off with Kittle over three and a half receptions. He's won over this total in the past five games and Purdy's first playoff game. He's Kittle's been one of Purdy's favorite targets. I'm expecting them to dump the ball off to him a lot, so that total should easily hit. Ray is being anti. Um, <laughs> Kraken minus one and a half against Blackhawks. Blackhawks are a sorry team. They're, they have three straight wins, but the Kraken are coming off a really good win against the Bruins in Boston. They hand them their first home loss of the season. They're playing really good hockey, and they should easily win this game by two or more goals against the Blackhawks. And then my last bet is <laughs> – Flyers and Caps over six. Both these teams' defenses are atrocious. And the last game these two teams played, the total went over easily. This total should be six and a half. Over six, we'll get the push if it gets to that point. But I like this total a lot. I should go over. So there's my three bets for Saturday. Ray. Ray. How do they dump it off to a tight end? <laughs> what, fucking dump it off? Short passes. Holy shit. Oh, and um, 
maybe um if you're a weather geek or dweeb <laughs> and you really don't like this bed just um dm ray sutton on instagram and he'll probably give you like the whole weather forecast <laughs> by maybe by a minute so if you're like really in the analytics of the weather for football games just hit up ray and he's got you with all that but here's our race plays for saturday well, that was a you know, nice rant from Gia there. Nice to see him actually showing a little emotion towards his bets because you know, you know, normally you just picks him out of a hat and fucking throws him together. But he's been doing good actually recently. So yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right. Um, I'm right on the bottom left of the screen, and that's all I gotta say. Gio. <laughs> I mean, does it ever end with you? All right. Um, well, I guess I'll just do NFL tomorrow, I guess. Um, all right. I've got three plays. We're doing a teaser, a uh, seven-point teaser. We're doing char- uh, 49ers minus two and jaguars plus nine on a teaser it's minus uh 110 so i like that i don't see either i'm supposed to all right um i'll restart and i forgot we have to list them all three at the start um (laughs) all right uh first play is gonna be a teaser seven point teaser uh 49ers minus two and jags plus nine Second play is going to be Austin Eckler over 38 and a half receiving yards. And last play is going to be Jamichael Hasty over seven and a half receiving yards. Um, this teaser, I think that 49ers can easily win by a field goal. I think they should maybe cover the spread outright, but um, just take the three. They, I don't see a way they lose this game. And Jags, you know, it'll be close for a really good game, I think. And if anything, I think the Jags could win this, but um, – Chargers win by a field goal touchdown at most. And then Eckler receiving yards. Uh, like Ben said, Keenan Allen's out. So, that I mean, fuck Mike Williams is out. And um, that takes a lot of yards away. So, I think Herbert will have to look to Eckler more than he normally does, which is a lot already. So, I think he'll get some good run after catch and can easily get this number probably about 50 yards, I'd say. And then Joe Michael Hasty, uh, he's always been a good receiving back. Uh, he, had, he had a good receiving run with the 49ers last year. So I think when ETN takes a few plays off, uh, Lawrence could dump one down. I mean, it'd probably only take one catch to get eight yards. So I like that there. All right, moving to Sunday. I got technically four, four plays, yeah. Um, my four plays, Dalvin Cook over 71 and a half rushing yards and anytime touchdown. Uh, Mark Andrews over 48 and a half receiving yards and Bengals team total under 25 and a half points. Uh, I think Dalvin Cook has a big day. The Giants struggle against the run. It'll all depend on how many touches he gets. If he can get 15 plus carries, he should go over that number. Um, And he's been under in three straight. So it's kind of keeping people away from this, but I think he has a breakout game. And because I think he has a breakout game, I think he gets a touchdown. Uh, Vikings get inside the red zone a lot, and I expect them to kind of rely on Cook a little bit more in the red zone just with how bad the Giants' run defense is. Next bet, Andrews over 48 and a half receiving yards. Last time they he played the Bengals because he didn't play in week 18. Uh, back in like week five, he went over this. He had a big game against them, including a touchdown. Um, and then his last game he played in week 17 against the Steelers, he went over this because he had nine catches for 100 yards. <clears throat> I think the Ravens are going to rely on the run a lot, but they'll have to mix it up a little bit if they want any possible chance. And I think they'll throw the ball to Andrews. If he can have four or five catches, I think he'll go over this number. As he's one of the best tight ends in the league, he's just had a down year because of uh, offensive coordinator. But the last one, Bengals team total under 25 and a half. Uh, I think the Bengals win this game, but I expect the Ravens defense to show up. There's been a lot of trash talking stuff throughout the week and Bengals acting a little bit tougher than I think they are. Um, I think uh, Bengals scored 27 last week, but the Ravens had three turnovers, including a fumble recovered in the end zone and then two giving the Bengals great field position. I think the Ravens offense is less, turns the ball over less this week, uh, especially if Huntley plays. I don't think Huntley will be great, but Huntley's so tentative. I don't think he turns the ball over as much. 
Uh, I think they try to chew the clock as that will be the only way they can win the game. And if they chew the clock, it'll try to keep the ball out of the Bengals hands. I think the Bengals at most score 21 to 24 points and go under this total. Those are my four plays. All right. Uh, my three plays for Sunday are um, J.K. Dobbins over 59 and a half rushing yards. Bills minus 13 and a half against the Dolphins and Saquon Barkley anytime touchdown. Uh, started off with Dobbins rushing yards. Ravens can't do anything else other than really run the ball. And if they're going to have any chance in this game, they're going to have to feed Dobbins the ball because he's our best running back at this point. I know the Bengals got a good run defense, but he he could easily break out a run and go over this total easily. Um, for Bills, minus 13 and a half. They're playing a sorry-ass Dolphins. Uh, this is one of Ray's second favorite teams. So he really likes the Bills. I think we're both agreeing on this pick this weekend, which is very surprising, right? Yeah. Yep. It's basically a bye game for the Bills. I mean, they sh- they could easily win this game by more than two touchdowns in Buffalo, so I really like this. And then my last Sunday is – or my last Sunday bet, Saquon Barkley, anytime touchdown. The last time they played the Vikings, he went off against them with over 100 yards rushing and receiving and with a touchdown. The Vikings got a weak defense, so he's going to have a lot of opportunities to score a touchdown. I think it's going to be a close game, so they're going to be feeding him the ball a lot. So that prop should hit. So those are my three plays for Sunday. All right. Um, My three plays for Sunday are going to be the over 48 and a half in the Giants Vikings game. Uh, Giants plus three and Bengals minus the eight at home against the Ravens. Um, Where, where'd you get it at eight? I see eight and a half. No, I on my score bet it's eight. So I'll eight and a half, whatever you want. Um, I think uh, you gotta go up to 10 here or nine and a half. I think they went by 10 plus. Um, because the Ravens, I think, will be with Anthony Brown as the quarterback. I don't think it'll be Huntley. I actually think Anthony Brown will be the better option because I think Huntley is more hurt than people think. Um, I just think this is not a good game, and I just think I do not think the Bengals tried in that second half. It could have been a lot worse than it was. They are not gonna just coast and let the Ravens back in the game like they did last week, where they still won by I think eleven, right? Um, yeah. So I think that's pretty easy to cover um, as much as I would not like to see it. Um, going Giants plus three, which I think this is a toss-up game. I mean, I don't think her cousins in any big game is worth trusting. So anytime I can get points with the other team, I'll take that. And then the over, um, these are two of the worst defenses in the league. They rank in the bottom five each in uh, total yards given up per game and uh, the bottom half league in points each giving up above 20. So I think this is a high scoring game, close game back and forth. So I think both teams will have to score a lot and throughout the game and no team will just, you know, run the clock out at the end. So I think that helps us go over pretty easily too. All right. Um, another bet I want to add in for at, like after is uh JK Dobbins over 13 and a half rushing attempts. I think like Gio yes. said, which was actually a decent uh, a decent point. They're going to run him a lot. Um, I couldn't find the prop on Vandal, but DraftKings had it. Has it a 13 and a half. I, th- Gus will be the kind of short down back, but any other time, I think Dobbins will get the ball. Like Ray said, uh, Anthony Brown could play. I think either one will be the same outcome. I don't think the Ravens have a good backup quarterback like they thought they did. Uh and they're going to have to rely on the run game. I, I, like I said, I don't think they win this game. There's, I don't think there's much of a chance. But you have to control time, possession, and the only way you do that is give Dobbins the ball. Dobbins has proven he can do it against good run defenses, and I think the Ravens trust that. So they'll give him more than 13 carries, I believe. I think it'll be somewhere from 15 to 20. And if he's having success, it could even be more. He said he's felt as close to 100% as he's been since the injury. So I think we see – him get the ball a lot in this one and who knows that could have an effect on it could help the Ravens win the Ravens need like a 2010 or 2011 Patriots game yeah I think uh, it could be his first career uh 20 carry game actually uh I mean really that I think sitting him out last week was a I think it's a smart move but um maybe ramping him up this week I mean you have nothing to lose really 
you're not expected to win. You might as well go out and there's no tomorrow. So you got to use your guys while you have them. Fully agree. You, you don't like the um, Bengals team total on their bet? You think they're going to put up 30 plus? What was it, 25? 25 and a half, yeah. They could put up 30 plus, I think, easily. Uh, I don't know about that. They struggled against the Patriots defense. They struggled against the Browns defense. They struggled against Baltimore both times. Ben, no they put up 22 me. points on the Patriots in the first half. Then they coasted again. They you keep making struggled. this coasting thing up. That, yeah, they no, do. They, they have struggle. a problem with no, coasting. They yes, they, they, they do. They, they have struggle. a problem with they coasting. Struggle. They yeah. turn the ball over like twice. They struggle. That, that's, what, that's what it was. They struggle. I don't they think struggle. they're going to run a play-action pass on fourth and inches to give uh, the ball away when they're at their 40. So, I and, think Roquan's going to hit everything he sees and carry this team to a close game. And they'll have Peters back. Our, they'll have At least, to, like, at least one of our highest-paid players is going to play, Roquan. Who's our other highest-paid player? Uh, Lamar. He's not getting paid money right now. Well, he wants it, so... Yeah, he it. deserves. He deserves it's it. Really no, it. no, him sitting out has earned it. That, that's enough said. Gio, what do you think about what I was? Uh, I was sorry. I was looking through Fanduel to take the under on the uh, Bengals team total because I like, that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. I really like that bet. I like that a lot. Defense shows up. Kelly's back. But do you think uh, Lamar's earned his money by sitting out? Um. <laughs> We'll be clear to see how the Ravens are without Lamar. So I think he's earned his money no matter what. Yep. Fully agree. Yeah, pay guy gets hurt every year. It's great. Got hurt twice. Not well, when many- you got to carry the whole offense. He's got hurt twice. He's got hurt twice in a five year career. Twice in a five year career. How many quarterbacks get hurt? But Tom Brady does it all the time. He used to do no, it. No, he does not. He's not. Yes, he did. No, yes, he did. He got a torn ACL once. Ben. And uh, how many units did you lay on the uh, Bengals under? Five unit max. <laughs> Go, why don't you put a hundred and fifty on a hundred dollar win? I might. I'm gonna put a cool uh, do you gonna play on that one? <laughs> Hammer Duke tomorrow, guys. Ray's a big fan. Uh, Ray yeah, we'll, likes we'll bombs. They look good in that second half. So maybe, maybe they uh, found something. Well, Jeremy Roach is out again. So that Hammer, might be- Hammer uh, UMBC tomorrow versus uh, Maine. What what point favorite are they? Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Bro, Monday at the game, they're going to be like 16 and a half. I'll be hammering it. That's I another, bet you they're, I bet you they're 10 plus. plus. 10 plus. That might be my five unit max play. I will say that on a video, five unit max. I'm going to hit a five unit max in a couple of days, and I'm going to smack Ray in the face after it hits at practice. We're going to have to post it. We're going to have to post, <laughs> post it there. Because Ray hated on it. Ray hated on the last one. So when this five unit max hits this week. Without the uh, without the frog song in the oh, back. I'm a, we're 100% posting up without frog. The frog. Wow. The frog. If the it's frog, anything frog, less than 15, I'm taking you on BC. If you guys are new to the uh, channel, we're going to have to scroll down a little bit and find our uh, – Combs only music, only here. play with, with sound. It was the probably worst bet we've ever posted. Yeah, that, that was, was the really worst bad. Fucking game the spread ever. at one point was 55 and a half. That was the worst live basketball game I've ever attended. It was pretty bad. That was bad. That it turned was... out to be the best, though. Shout out to Ray for that bet, by the way. Mm-hmm. It was awesome. Mm-hmm. What was it again? 15, no, uh, 26 to 30. 26 to 30. Holy shit. That was a smoker. That was a smoker. What if we do UMBC 21 to 25 over Hartford? That's a good bet. That is a good bet. I wonder what the odds are. Let me see what they would be against Maine. Um, Hartford's 4 and 14. 11 plus is plus 120. Harford is four and fourteen. Gosh, they suck. Who does Duke play tomorrow? Clemson. Clemson. We had a whole talk about it. UMBC beat Bryant, bro. UMBC is legit. 
I'm gonna take that one, kids. Proud. That conference is tough, though. UMass Lowell beat Vermont. That's a weird. Uh, even good this year. It's a weird conference. Yeah, I had Vermont plus one. That was that was my own three day. We all have them. Oh, is this Tom Kim? No. Well, that was a shout out to Ray for that bet. Who is this? Who was that, Ray? Holy what? Shit. Oh, you're not, uh, I thought you watched sports on Tom Kim didn't, didn't make the cut. Hey, can't fucking run an easy course, really, Tom? Not the fourth. I just course. wish the bet would like go away because it's still like all my shit. Yeah, yeah it'll be there till Sunday. There till Sunday. Fuck. Oh, nice bet, Ray. Well, I gave you a tennis bet that hit, so cancels it out. You probably didn't even write it, did you? Yeah, I did. I texted the group chat early I in the morning after it hit. Shut up. Sounds stupid. I'm just going to give you a, if if I if Kim would have made the cut and he lost, I'd be like, dang, that's all right. He didn't make the cut. Well, Linda. And it was a Ray bet as you got Jamie down the road morning? had it. And I did not know that. Is there any tennis for tomorrow morning? Uh, yeah, I actually do have something, but you probably right. don't want it. Uh, I want to ride it. All right. Hang on one second. Let me look at the name again. I have it right here. Do you have a tennis dude who gives you bets? No, I. The name is weird on the score app. I have to go. No, look I'm at asking. It. Like, like, how did you find? I bet? find these. I watch a little tennis. Um, late nights. I respect <laughs> that. I like tennis. Tennis is a fun sport. You look like you watch tennis. Australian Open. You should bet Novak Djokovic to win. It doesn't have the um. Oh here now. What, is it, what are his odds? Future. It's an over bet in tennis. He's minus 125 to win. Yeah. He's the best fucking tennis player of all time, Gio. What about oh. fucking Nadal or fucking... Djokovic is much better than Nadal. Better? Djokovic is better than that. him. Serena Williams? What about uh, Nick... Um, all right, you see this? Bautista, Agut, and uh, Esquan. Yeah. Yep. Bautista, Over 22 Agut. and a half Over. games. Over 22 and a half games. What? Why? Because they're even, pretty much even players. They're the four and seven seed. I think this will be a three set match. It'll go to. It'll that, be is two unit play. that is a two unit play for me. Just put two units on it. I'll put two units on it. Total match games, 22 and a half. And that's at 230. Holy shit, I might stay up. Wait, it's right now? It's coming up? At 2 30 a.m. Oh, I think it's 2 30 p.m. 2 30 a.m. Our girl, uh, Belinda. Oh, fuck. Belinda's playing. Belinda oh, Bensick wow. is playing in the. Uh, She's final. going right now. Yep. And Belinda it's Bensick. Son of a bitch. Is she winning? Um. Yes, actually. Thanks for giving us that bet, Ray. Look at Belinda. She is good. Shout out to Belinda. She She's an underrated some, tennis player. She won us some Chen. She did win us Chen. Respect for anybody who's ever won us Chen. Yep. Did you lock it in? I locked Soon, it in. Soon Wan Kin. Kwan. I locked it in. Soon Wu Kwan. Against Roberto Bautista Agut. Over 22 and a half games. What a bet that is. It is. I locked it in. What, you put 20 on it, Gio? Yep. Gio, yeah, I thought your two units was 30. <sighs> oh, yeah, shit. Hey, bet, Gio. No, no, I'll I'm cashing out. I'm literally cashed out. 20. I cashed out. I cashed out. 23 to win 20. Are you guys going to stay up for it or no? I'll probably fall asleep. The odds are I'm probably not going to watch 23 sets of watch either. I just need to wake up to money. In, uh... All right. There it is. Wait. I'll be up probably at till 3, so I'll watch. Uh, I normally stay up till about 3 a.m. every night. Two units. Damn badass. So uh, I didn't realize you were that much of a badass, right? Ben, I'm just saying. Um, I'm... another news. All yeah. right. Well, forget what Gio's saying. Uh, that is it. No. Um, bef- before we end, I want to give you guys a bet that I put in. Charlie Kohler anytime touchdown. 
plus 2,400. Like well, I like him too. He moves well. He's huge. I like him very much. That plus 2,400. Plus 2,400. I, yep, I like him. I think I'm going well. to take that right now. Plus 2,400 on FanDuel. Who knows who's going to score a touchdown for us in that one? If we even score a touchdown, Ben. I think we'll score one. Charlie Kohler. I mean, this could be a devastating loss for the Ravens that sets them back 10 years. Okay, Frank. Anything else? (laughs) Why don't we take a – How about Frank's one-minute rant? Charlie. Yeah, that was funny. Aaron Ruff is the worst baseball player of all time. How much did you put on Charlie? 10. What would you think? Yeah, put another unit on uh, the over. Come on. I know you have some money in your FanDuel account after finally having a win- winning week. Oh. That was a compliment. I had a but good no, it was, like, it was more of a shot. Like, finally. Like, yeah, I had a finally. good night. All right. That is it. Can you take um, the over in the Ravens game? We'll see you guys again Monday night. Oh, the Seattle game. No.